thank you for listening to uh, us today. Uh, again, we basically have, you're given the basic life at no charge. You have the option to enroll in the voluntary life insurance benefit. And do keep in mind the guarantees are only available during this open enrollment period. I cannot stress that enough that if your health changes in six months from now, you know, you may not be able to get the insurance because they are going to require you to answer medical questions and could ask for a test down the road. So do make the choice that's best for you at this time. Also, you have the ability to enroll in the voluntary dental or vision programs. Okay. The next open enrollment period is not until December of 2013. The only way to get onto these benefits after this open enrollment period would be if you had a qualifying event, meaning you lost coverage, for example, through your spouse. Or if you had a child uh, or adopted a child uh, and wanted to add them to the plan, that would be acceptable at that time down the road. Let's begin by going through the enrollment forms. They are in the back of your book. On the screen, you will see uh, an outline of the forms. We will need everybody to complete these forms. So if you haven't handed them in within a reasonable amount of time, I'm sure the HR department will track you down. For everybody, we do need the first part filled in. Keep in mind that it's not necessary for you to fill in the wages, as the HR department does not need to know that. If you would like to add a spouse or your children to any of the benefits, we will need their basic information listed in the middle of the page. And you'll notice at the bottom of the page, they want to reiterate that all of you have $15,000 of coverage. So whether you enroll in the other benefits or not, we do need you to complete the next page at the top of the page, which would be a spot for your beneficiary. Now, all of you will need to complete a beneficiary. Uh, this will be kept in your file. And you can change this at any point in time, but we do need to have this information now. Okay? This is something that's critical for you to put in place. If you don't know who to put, please consult with a financial professional, and they'll walk you through what your options are. Or you can even call the EAP number to give you advice on how to fill out that part of the form. In the middle of the page, you will see the spot for the voluntary life. One of the things that you will notice is that the 175,000 and the 275,000 are in bold. Please keep in mind is that everything up to the first 175,000, there's no medical questions. Anything between the 175, the 200, up to the 275, you would need to answer the question at the bottom of the page. Okay. For your spouse, if you want to get coverage on them, the most that you can purchase is 50% of whatever you take. Uh, the first 50,000 is guaranteed. If the amount is in between that 50 and the 75,000, then you would need to answer the medical question at the bottom. For any amount over 275 and, and 175, or what, any amount over the 275, and any amount over the 75, excuse me, you will need to complete what's called an evidence of insurability form. Uh, that will be required for any amounts over the guarantee and the medical question. And for your kids, as you can see, the most that you can purchase is 10,000 and there's no medical questions required for that. If you don't want to participate in the voluntary life, that's okay. Just mark, I waive this coverage and move on to the next page. On page three, you will find um, in the top of the page where you enroll for the voluntary dental benefits. If you can enroll just yourself, if you want to add a spouse, that's up to you. And in fact, keep in mind if you do the life insurance for yourself, you don't have to do it for your spouse, but you can have them on the dental plan if you want. Um, you don't have to have them for the life. If you don't want the dental coverage in any form, just mark I waive this coverage and move on to the next section, which is the voluntary vision. You can enroll in this benefit any way you want to. So if you want to enroll the full family and you only enrolled in the dental, that's up to you. If you don't want this coverage, just mark I waive this coverage. Again, keep in mind the only way to enroll in these benefits is if you have a qualifying event, as the next open enrollment period is not until December of 2013. Lastly, on page four, we need your autograph and a data. Um, and need you to return it to the HR department as soon as possible. If you have any questions or concerns, please direct your questions to them. If they're personal in nature and you'd like to talk to myself or somebody on my staff, 
please call 847-813-5511 and we'll be happy to answer those personal questions for you. Thanks again for listening. We hope that you enroll. We wish you all the best.